Hello, today we're talking about the Internet and the World Wide Web. This is a great 10 IT topic. What is the Internet? It's a worldwide com computer network. So you've seen a little network maybe in your home or in an office. This one stretches right across the whole world. There are computers and smaller networks all linked together by phone lines. It includes fiber, undersea cables, satellite or microwave. And every computer must have its own, I own address, which we call an IP address. More about that in a few slides. And remember that there is not one single organization that's in charge of the Internet. We are all connected, but there's nobody in charge. So what do you need to connect to the Internet? You need a computer or a phone, obviously. You need an ISP, which is an Internet service provider. You need some software and you need a modem. And then you need a phone line or a fiber connection. So your internet connection can be wired or wireless. Um, we have on the, uh, on the wired side ADSL, which is a permanent digital connection using a telephone line. But it is being used less and fiber is taking over. Fiber is a high speed, it's glass wires that conduct light. And for either, you will need a modem or a router to connect. Then on the wireless side, we have 3G, 4G, and now even 5G. And did you know that the fastest 5G is in Saudi Arabia, where they have um, speeds of 377.2 megabits per second. Your um, fiber looks like the pictures shown here. There are little glass or plastic um, tubes inside sheath, sheaths of plastic and it is really really fast because you've got light traveling inside these cables. Um, you need something called a data termination equipment and that will be installed in your home or business when the company comes to install your um, fiber. The World Wide Web this is a service that runs on the Internet. It's a vast collection of interlinked interactive documents stored on computers all over the world. Whenever you go to a website, you are accessing that website from a computer somewhere in the world via the Internet. And the documents on the World Wide Web are designed in a language called HTML. Some, here is some terminology. A website is related web pages. They are maintained by an organization. A web page is an electronic document on the World Wide Web. It can include graphics, text, sound, video and links. And a hyperlink is a built-in connection to another related web page. Then we get all sorts of protocols or rules that are used on the Internet for the computers to communicate with each other. You need to know these. IP stands for Internet Protocol. HTTP is the way that web pages are transferred on the World Wide Web. HTTPS is the same as HTTP, but it is secure. Um, SMTP is to transfer mails. It's the mail transferring protocol. FTP is for transferring files. And VOIP, or you know it as VoIP, is for transfer, transferring voice over the internet. And you've probably used something like Zoom or Skype, which, is, which uses VoIP for you to be able to communicate on the internet. A URL is basically the address of a website and URLs have a format which you need to know about. First of all, it's HTTP, which is the protocol used to access that resource. Then there's WWW, stands for the World Wide Web. 
and then there's the domain name. Over here, we've got sars.gov.za, not everybody's favorite website, or actually everybody's least favorite website. Then we've got server1, the name of the host computer on which the resource is located. Then comes the path, there's slash, then the path to the resource on the server, and then at the end, the name of the document or resource. And often when you go and look up something on the internet, you'll, learn, you'll see that there are lots of slashes and a, an address can be very long. Um, so the last few sections do not always have to be present, especially when you're accessing the first page or the home page. Um, domain names or domains. You get a second level domain, which is the name of the site, SARS here. And then gov.za would be a top level domain. And normally it represents the type of organization, like here, gov, it's for government. And the geographic location, like za, stands for South Africa. Okay, an IP address. This is very important. Every computer on the internet has its own unique IP address. It's almost like your telephone number. If somebody wants to get hold of you, they dial your number. So an IP address identifies your computer on the internet. A URL is actually an alphabetical address, but it is linked to a numerical IP address. If you want to know what your computer's IP address is, you go to Google and type my IP address and this, your device's IP address will show up. You could also, on your computer, at the bottom left corner of your screen, the Windows little lookup um, area, just type CMD. Then a black window comes up where you can type commands and you can type IP config and enter and your IP address will show up and you'll see something like this. Um, that's all for today. Thank you for watching and thank you for learning today. Goodbye from ITs Clear.